welcome to the 1999 South Derry Under 16 final featuring Muckerfelt playing today in the white and Oliver Plunkett's Green Loch in the St Mary Claddy colours. On the attack at the moment, St Mary's Muckerfelt with our captain Conal O'Brien. Good ball in, however it's fumbled. And Sean McGuigan the judges a free to St Mary's Muckerfelt. Stepping up to take number 12, Sean Ludlow, a member of the successful Ranafast team last week. 21 yards out, straight in front of goals. Sean settles his head straight over the bar for the first score of the match. Donovan Russell from Buckerfield had five players on the convent Ranafast team which beat uh, St Pat's Mahara for a historic victory last week. That should backbone them today in this encounter. Both teams have met in the league. Good ball from number 11, Thomas Niblock. Thomas taking their turn. Left footed but the wind catches it and drifts it over the sideline. A very strong wind going down the field today favouring Oliver Plunkett's ball out to number six, Kieran McCallion. However, the ball intercepted. Number seven, Sean Dillon. Sean to Peter O'Neill. Peter right footed into the corner over the fullback's head. And the ball drifts aimlessly wide. Thomas McLeod placing the ball for the kick out. He should be able to use this strong breeze to his advantage. Ball drops 30 yards out. Underneath it, Brian McPeak. Brian dispossessed. Muckervelt ta tackling and packs. A dangerous tackle there, but the referee allows play to go on. Ball drops to Brian McPeak. Brian bursts past his man. And a long high cross field ball. The referee judges a late tackle and a free in 40 yards out. <laughs> Brian and Cormac O'Neill, two members of the St. Pat's O'Doherty Cup team, which was defeated last week by Armagh. <laughs> Liam O'Donnell, left footed, 50 yards out. High ball using the one to his advantage. Drifts left, almost fielded. And Dermot Clark takes a pot shot over the left shoulder and a good point from Dermot Clark. <laughs> One point eight three minutes into the game. First kick out really to test the Muckerfield keeper Peter Heverin. An excellent kick out underneath the Conal O'Brien, Colin Fielding. Connell was a member of this year's under-17 Australian rules team. First three, two tackles. Strong ball carrying player. Takes the, the game to the opposition, however. Nice tap tackle. Lovely tap tackle by Kieran McCallion. And Greenlaw won the free out. Management called for a long high ball over the defence, and that's what happens. And the breaks to young Kerry. Two members of the Kerry team here today. Number 15, Martin. Takes on his man. Cuts inside but fouled at the last minute as he goes to take a shot. <laughs> Stepping up to take it, number 11, Cormac O'Neill. Cormac, a vocational all-star this year, casually taps the ball straight over the bar. Two points to one in favour of Greenlock. Greenlock would hope to build up a strong lead today in the, the first half here if they, with the Gale Force 1 at their backs. <coughs> Mackerfield back line today, Peter Heverin and goals, Timmy Steele, Niall Keelton, Ronan O'Neill. Half backs, Murtagh O'Brien, Mark Higgins and Sean Dillon. As Heverin's ball goes out over the sideline for a sideline ball, 
to Greenlock. Ball played in, but well intercepted, number five. O'Brien coming out, brother of the midfielder. Short pass, however, dispossessed. And the ball breaks to Clark. Clark, fancy pick up, tries to play a one-two with Peter Rocks. Both teams tending to play very short football, which isn't ideal for these conditions. Sean McGuigan from Slack Neil refereeing today. Sean had judged when Mucker felt Rover carrying an excellent high ball in. Dermot Clark struggles for it, but it goes left to the upright and wide. Liam O'Donnell spotting him free. The one, however, just carried it out of his reach. Midfield today, Conal O'Brien. As we said, a member of the uh, Australian Rules Ulster team. And Peter O'Neill from St Pius. Half forward line, Owen Walls, Thomas Niblock and Sean Ludlow. Full forward line, Paul Donnelly, Dermot Donnelly and Philip Collins. As a kick out drops in the midfield sector, underneath it O'Brien and Rocks, ball breaks to Rocks, points pass into the full forward line. Well picked up, the loose ball drives clear, long low driven shot. Well blocked by number four, looks like he blocked it with his head. Run, run O'Neill. And substitutes today from Muckerfield, Colin McElroy, Mark Craig, Pat Keenan, Barry Kerr and Michael Collins. As Cormac O'Neill steps up to take the 50 yard free. High dropping ball, excellently struck. Beautiful strike in these conditions, excellent. Three points to one in favour of Greenlough. Seven minutes gone in the game. Heverns kick out along the sideline, dropping to number 12, Sean Ludlow. Sean, uh, however, fumbles in the windy conditions. Hands are cold in these conditions. The match played um, on the 30th of October. Everything running behind time. High dropping ball by O'Donnell. Ball breaks clear. Sean McAllister. Timmy Steele, and Timmy to O'Neill, O'Neill under pressure, Greenlock attacking in packs, pressurising the player, McGuigan judges a free out to Muckerfeld, and from full back Niall Keel steps up to take it, left footed, low punch pass to Thomas Niblock, Thomas to O'Brien, an attempt to sideline pass intercepted by Gareth Kearney. Gareth, another vocational all-star, full back on the Oliver Plunkett team today. Lovely pick up by O'Neill. O'Neill to O'Brien. Macher felt aiming to carry the ball into the strong breeze. Again, he fumbles, slippy underfoot conditions. Peter O'Neill, the judging, have picked up the ball off the ground and a free to Greenlock. A good 55 metres out, Cormac O'Neill lining up. He aims to put height in the ball and distance, dropping dangerously into the square, but right of the upright and wide. <laughs> Again, it shows the strength of the prevailing one here. He easily was putting the ball 55, 60 yards. <laughs> Ludlow's kick out hangs in the air. He's aiming to pick out O'Brien. O'Brien punches to Ludlow. Ludlow's low-driven ball collected by Kieran McCallion. Kieran drives the ball back into the Macherfeld defence. Number five, Murdoch O'Brien fumbles a high shot and a snap shot by <coughs> Young Kerry. Owen says a count. Two twins in the Greenlock team today. Number 15, Martin Carey, and number 13, Anthony Carey. And goalkeeper, Thomas McCloy, and cornerback, Francis McCloy. Kick out goes to the opposite wing this time, underneath it, O'Neill. Attempts to gather it in his chest. Ball played out, centre half back, Higgins. Cross field ball. Brian McPeak bursts through as Owen Walls tended to wait on the, the ball. McPeak, oh, a brilliant effort. Excellent score from Young McPeak. Yeah. 
Five points to one, ten minutes into the game. Brian McPeak burst in and, and drove in for the ball. Whereas Owen Walls tended to wait in the ball coming to him and the one, the one held it up. Again, most of the play now encamped in the, the Muckerfield half of the field here, mainly due to the wind conditions. Another excellent kick out. Rocks, high ball in underneath at Higgins. Mark Higgins burst through two, three tackles. Slows play down, looking for the free but nothing on. None of the Muckerfield forward line making themselves available at the moment. Finally the ball drops to the small corner forward. Um, 13, Donnelly. Donnelly takes on his man, a neat, neat stylish player. Ball over the Greenlock full back line. But well picked up. Liam O'Donnell coming out. Long high ball. Ball fumble, well picked up by McCloy. Players not getting time to rest on the ball today. Both, both teams hustling and hurrying the opposition. Rocks judging to have fouled the ball and a free to O'Brien. O'Brien again looking for the fast ball but nothing on. He plays it to number 13, Peter Donnelly. Sorry, Paul Donnelly. Paul plays a low ball down to his full forward. Dermot. Dermot toe taps on the ground but he's, his jersey is pulled. The referee doesn't see it. And the goalkeeper allows the ball to run wide for a, a kick out for Greenlock. Muckerfield managed today by Fermanagh man Kevin McElroy and assisted by Cackle Humphrey. Greenlock, under the management of Michael Lagan and Paddy O'Neill, have successfully overcome Ballamagwigan, Newbridge and Kilray on the road to the final. As McCloy's kick out drops underneath the rocks, picks the ball up, plays it back to his cornerback and brother John Rocks. <laughs> Sean McAllister, strong physical player, bursts through the tackle, plays it to Brian McPeak. Brian, a nice low weighted pass to Kerry. Kerry looking for the beautiful score, nice right footed score, steadied himself and tapped neatly over the bar, dead centre over the upright. <laughs> Six points to one in favour of Oliver Plunkett Greenlock with 13 minutes gone on the clock. And the second point of the game for Martin Carey. You don't see Well, I had her charge. I had her charge. 13 minutes gone. Would it be the cold, would it? Would it be the cold? Crossfield ball underneath at Ludlow and McPeak. Ludlow wins the encounter this time. Takes on the opposition. Right footed ball down to his corner forward Donnelly. John Rocks. More physical player wins the encounter. A crossfield pass underneath it. Downey. High ball in, two poked out by Clark out to the Anthony Carey, however, couldn't pick the ball up in time and the ball drifts for a sideline ball. Martin Mulhall, Mulholland from Slachnil. Lines man on the far line today. And on this line, Jared McGurlian. Ball out O'Brien, got through a lot of work in midfield. But well closed down by the Greenlaw forward line and forced to play the ball over the sideline for a sideline ball. Not going? It's a lot, it's not much left on it. You serious? Flash and I. Dermot Clark to Thomas McCloy, but wide, right is upright and wide. Ryan, come here. Hey boys, facing. Kevin Nelly, just to anybody with worker fans, John it must be the cold condition this battery's running out fast. Or hey, if you see Harry Casty move, we could get inside for a loop. Oh. 
Sean Ludlow, ball in field, centre half forward, Thomas Niblock. Thomas switching the pass, Mucker felt 21 yards out, but bottled up by the Greenlock defence. Ball fumbled underneath the number 10 own walls, but the ball kicked clear to centre half back, Mark Higgins. <coughs> Mark right footed aims for the point himself, but drives the ball harmlessly wide, right of the upright and wide. Must be cool weather. She back, might hold the half. You know, eh? She might hold the half time. But what do we do then? Peter Duffy wouldn't have been down there. What? Uh, an electricity lead. Back on air. 26 minutes into the game. We've lost 12 minutes of the game due to battery failure in the cold conditions. <laughs> An unexpected hitch uh, and a major transformation in the game in the intervening period. Um, Scoreline now, what did you say? Two? Yeah, seven, point each. seven points each. Uh, right, as number 10, Owen Walls throws the ball into the corner. Dangerous cross field pass. Donnelly, the full forward, attempts to punch it, but it drifts over his head. Underneath the cornerback, rocks. Scores at the moment, Dermot Donnelly scored a, an excellent goal at the second attempt. First attempt well saved by the keeper, but he uh, he got the, se the second at attempt as the ball bounced out to him. Honours number seven, McPeak now in the, the burst, 50 yards out, right footed, but right of the upright and wide. <coughs> so Donnelly scored a goal just as we went off air in the 16th minute. Um, Paul Donnelly a point, two points from Sean Ludlow and one from Thomas Niblock. For Greenlock. Two points Cormac O'Neill, one point Liam O'Donnell, one point Dermot Clark, and two points Martin Carey. As the ball goes over the sideline for a sideline ball to Muckerfeld. <coughs> O'Brien about to take it. Low driven ball. Underneath number 12, Ludlow. Ludlow, one of Muckerfeld's main players here today. Ball breaks free to Higgins. <coughs> Higgins to Dillon. Dillon twists and turns out through two, three players. Burst past the tackle and wins a free kick 50 yards from goals. <coughs> ball through back to Ludlow. Ludlow attempted to find his corner man, Donnelly. However, the ball went and intercepted. And a high dropping ball from Downey. 50 50 ball underneath it, O'Brien. Right footed, that low hanging pass. Niblock attempts to turn McPeak, plays the ball square instead. The ball out to the sideline. However, fumbled in the cold conditions. And underneath it, O'Donnell. Left footed down to Carey. Carey twists inside his man, looks up with a high ball to his brother. And underneath it, O'Neill. O'Neill, one of the danger men today for, for Greenlaw, but hasn't really got into the game. Left footed cross field underneath it, goalkeeper Heverin. Heverin to Dillon. Dylan takes on Carey, plays the ball into midfielder O'Neill. O'Neill right footed but underneath it McPeak. McPeak taps the ball down to himself, looks up for the pass and underneath it O'Neill. But Heverin safe onto the high ball. And kicks the ball for a sideline 35 yards out. <coughs> Greenlock lining out today, Thomas McCloy and goals, brother Francis. Gareth Kearney and John Rocks. Half back line, Brian McPeak, Kieran McCallion, and Thomas Kelly. As a high ball drops in onto the square, a dangerous ball, but punched wide. <coughs> Midfield today, Peter Rocks and Paul Downey. Right half forward, Liam O'Donnell, then Cormac O'Neill and Sean McAllister. Full forward line, Anthony Carey, Dermot Clark, and Martin Carey. As the referee blows the whistle for the half time with a score of seven points each. So the one advantage, no favour to Oliver Plunkett's Greenlock. Subs for Greenlock today, Brenton Downey, Niall Kearney, Kieran McGarlean, Eunan O'Neill, Damien McGillin, Cackle McCallion, Patrick McCann and Sean O'Neill. Sean sick last night and unfortunate not to make the team today, but out due to illness.
Gracias, ¿eh? Sean McGuigan throws in the ball to be level at seven points each. As Clark plays the ball into Carey. Carey, a top tackle to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, snapshot on the ground. Well saved by the keeper. And points clear by number four, Ryan O'Neill. For sideline ball. A good opportunity there for O'Donnell. But this shot well saved by Ludlow. Roy Heverin and the keeper. Cormac O'Neill going out to take it. 21 yards out. On the sideline, long, low ball. Plays the one two. Well bottled up by the defence as he plays to Clark. Clark over his right shoulder, typical of his first point. Ball fisted wide, however, an unfortunate effort by Big Paul down in the midfielder. He had the opportunity to catch it, opted for punching, and the ball slipped past him. Come on, get them going. Heverin's kick dropping 30 yards out underneath it. O'Brien and Hever and Ludlow. Left footed, nice neat ball on the ground. Okay, but fouled by Thomas Kelly. Niblock taking the free himself, looking for the fast ball, but nobody in. Takes a short ball as the Greenlock defence sleeps. Ball breaks to Brian McPeak. Brian bursts past his tackler. But the jersey's pulled and it's free. Takes the ball himself. Underneath it, Carey. However, Carey lets the ball bounce over his head. And the ball's cleared by young Tommy Steele. However, Carey wins back the ball. On the run, handed though, taking it into the breeze. Underneath it, O'Neill. O'Neill takes the ball in his favourite style on the bounce. But well hurried over the sideline for a 50, for a 45 metre free. <laughs> <laughs> Mackerfield management of Michael Roy and Humphrey I'm sure were quite content at half time and again they'll be encouraging their, their players to use route one and send the long low ball down into the full forward line O'Neill short free into the breeze plays a 1-2 with Carey cuts inside his man but the ball drifts to the left of the upright and wide the one tended to catch it a good opportunity wasted that's two, two chances squandered by Greenlock just Heverun kicking out underneath the centre half back Higgins but the ball breaks free to O'Donnell O'Donnell out to Carey Carey twisting and turning his man still stays with him however as the ball played into McPeak right footed McPeak drives the ball but underneath it corner back O'Neill O'Neill playing a 1 2 with Kilt. Greenlaw forwards, but not an awful lot of pressure. Big O'Brien sends off one tackle, two tackles, and the referee McGuigan harshly judges him to have overcarried the ball. Liam O'Donnell deciding this time to take the free off the ground, left footed. Ball doesn't really rise. Oh, a dangerous ball coming off the post underneath it. Kilt, Kilt's high ball out. 50 yards, 60 yards out. Thomas Kelly gathers the loose possession and drives back into Mackerfield half. Plays a 1 2 with O'Donnell. O'Donnell left footed, but left is upright and wide again. Five minutes into the second half and three wides to Greenlock, three good opportunities. Mockerfield is yet to get up the field. <laughs> Heverin's kick this time out his right wing. Underneath it, Murtough O'Brien, brother of the midfielder. Plays the ball up to number 10, Owen Walls. Owen Walls takes it Australian style on the ground. But the ball breaks to McPeak. Right footed, dropping ball into the centre, into the danger zone. Young Kerry fumbles it. Dermot Clark puts under pressure and fouls the full back. A free out to Muckerfeld. 
Mackerfield looking for the high ball but nothing on as the ball drops to Young Walls but again the one carries it over the sideline for a sideline ball Mackerfield playing this second half with two men up and number 15 Philip Collins playing a more roving role Philip underneath it at the moment but the ball breaks to Carey Carey one of the Carey twins wins the ball at the second attempt two to have to into his brother but the points pass again uh, intercepted by Mackerfield ball back to Downey Downey throws a dummy outside of the boot oh another dangerous slippy ball again Greenlock putting tremendous pressure in the forward line and the referee a judge unfairly and a free out <laughs> all Greenlock pressure at the moment but nothing to show for it that's McCallion, McCallion's living, driven ball in underneath at Heverin <laughs> Heverin out to Kilt Kilt the long simple ball out underneath at Kelly <laughs> Kelly to McCallion, McCallion the only Greenlock member of the Ranafast uh, team that which won for St Mary's last week so the ball breaks to O'Neill, O'Neill quite quiet tonight but an excellent score, first score of the second half to young Cormac O'Neill <laughs> Cormac O'Neill opens Greenlock's account in the second half taking them into the lead on the score line of 8 points to 7 <laughs> and some 6 minutes gone on the game Ball drifts aimlessly over the sideline. Underneath it, Downey. No rocks. Rocks looking for someone to kick to. Nobody available. A 50 50 ball. Well intercepted by O'Brien. Ball driven up to the corner, but young Donnelly couldn't keep it in play. Ball picked up by Rocks. Midfielder Rocks. Across to Thomas Kelly. Thomas fumbles the wet slippy ball. Underneath it to Donald, a lovely tip. Decides to take on his man this time and run at him. Well tackled by young Thomas Niblock, but the ball driven in, but again over the end line and wide. All possession at the moment to Greenlock, but very few scores to show for all their play. Mucker felt probably quite happy to hold on and hit them in the counter attack. Heverin's ball underneath it, O'Brien. Ball drifts over their heads and underneath it, Kieran McCallion. Kieran only 14. Again, the ball comes off his ankles for a sideline. Greenlock playing. McCloy is a sweeping full back, and that's, uh, he wins the day in this case. McCloy opting not to go with the um, roving full forward of Philip Collins. O'Brien back, long low ball, or long high ball in fact, to Gareth Kearney. Ball skids in the slippy surface. As the one carries it into the corner. Kearney dips, picks it up, but it's judged to have been fouled by Big Dermot Donnelly. <laughs> Push in the back, but he gets away with it. Ball breaks to McPeak. Ball contested by two players, drops to Rocks. Rocks first time ball into the full forward, Clark. However, Clark well shot her own by Niall Kilt. And the ball goes for a sideline ball. And Martin Mulholland the judges it in favour of Greenlock. O'Donnell's dangerous ball, cross field. Underneath it, Kerry. Ball slips out of Kerry's arms right in front of goals. Number 10, Owen Walls. Comes from behind his player and wins a good ball. Well played to number Sean Ludlow. Sean takes on his man, turns inside, cuts inside again, right footed. An excellent effort, dropping dangerously, but right is upright and wide. Muckerfelt is yet to score in the second half, with almost 10 minutes gone. Here, here. Thomas McCloy, the keeper, opting to leave the kick out 
to fullback Gareth Kearney. Good kick out down his left hand wing. And Greenlock McPeak fouled. Taking the ball himself, a low ball. Underneath it, O'Neill, but the ball bounces free. O'Neill wins at the second attempt. Attempts to take on the centre half back, but well shot round out. <laughs> Higgins doing well there and harshly adjudged. Quick free. Oh, terrible ball. Again, playing very short football in poor conditions, and it's not paying off as the ball breaks to Ludlow. Ludlow attempted to play a 1 2 with Donnelly. Burst for it, but underneath it, McCallion. McCallion slips, and the ball hook kicked, but left it up right and wide. Greenlock lucky on that occasion. There's two excellent opportunities there from Muckerfelt, but neither of the Muckerfelt players could take advantage of it. Kieran McCallion slipping in possession. McCloy taking the kick out this time himself. But the ball breaks to Ludlow, right footed and over the bar, an excellent scorer. Well, young, young number 12, Sean Ludlow. Twelve minutes gone, one five to Muckerfelt, eight points to Greenlock. All to play for. Gareth Kearney taking the kick out. Underneath it rocks and O'Neill. Ball breaks free to McPeak. Numerous problems for all the players today. Ball played cross field. Mike Pick puts in the shoulder. Thomas Nibblock rides the tackle well and plays the ball out. High tackle by Peter Rocks. Number seven, Sean Dillon. Throws down the ball. Ludlow lining up. This to put Muckerfelt in the lead. Steadies himself, right footed, but the ball drifting well to the right of the uprights and points by Donnelly and points wide. <laughs> Macher felt two or three good opportunities in the last few minutes and again I've just taken one of them as McCloy kicks the ball out. Ball bounces free. Underneath it, Kelly. Left footed ball down to O'Neill. O'Neill looking for a player to pass it to, nobody available. Left footed ball, and underneath it, Clark. But full back, Niall Keel drives clear, 60 yards out from his own goals. A left footed ball, and underneath it, Donnelly and full back, Kearney. Ball drifts over both heads and into the corner. Sweeper McCloy picks it up. Nice ball out to Kearney. Ball down and get away from him! To McCallion. Players slipping all over the place, very slippy underfoot conditions. Although a nice dry surface, uh, a nice firm surface. Paul picks up the ball in the second attempt, but fouled by O'Brien. Greenlock forward very tightly barked by Muckerfelt. No options on at all for Paul Downey as he looks in all directions for someone to kick to. Again, both players fumbling. Ball played over to Thomas Niblock. Left footed Thomas Niblock slips as he takes a shot and the ball drifts left of the upright and wide. And it looks like young Paul Downey possibly injured there in the tackle. <laughs> All squares reach the halfway stage in the second half. 15 minutes left, 1 5 to 8 points. Ball points clear with McCallion. But Mulholland, Martin Mulholland, the lines man, judges a sideline ball in favour of Greenlock. Greenlock playing today in St Mary's Claddy colours. Clash of colours as both teams play in red and white. Peter Rocks looking for the pass, a good attempt at block by O'Neill. Well swept up. Yeah, that was good there. Ludlow gaining a lot of possession today as the ball hits to O'Neill. O'Neill across field pass underneath it, Martin Carey. 
Gains it at about the third attempt. Ball over to the attacking halfback, Brian McPick. And Brian, long, low ball. 2 0. Macher felt defence standing off him next and points pass to O'Donnell. O'Donnell driving three must take his point. Drop kick, but right of the upright and wide. <coughs> and next an opportunity in the semi no wide. In a similar situation against Kilray in the semi final, O'Donnell drove it against the upright and the ball went into the net via Clark. Not so lucky on this occasion as the ball points clear to O'Neill. O'Neill well shouldered and slid over the sideline in the slippy conditions. Downey, Downey getting very agitated here with the linesman. Yes, go Should concentrate more on playing football and paying less attention to trying to referee himself. Sideline ball, points kick. As the player slip in the conditions. McPeak mopping up the loose stuff. Underneath it, Clark. You see him? No. Move away a wee bit, will you, please? Number two, Timmy Steele. To Brian. Brian, a 60 yard pass. Underneath it, McCallion and Ludlow. Ludlow creating a lot of problems here for the Greenlock defence today. As the ball down to Wee Donnelly, but the ball bounces over the back's head and to sweeper McCloy. Rocks. Plays the ball on the ground. High tackle by O'Brien. Sideline ball to Muckerfelt, drifting right up, right and wide. Oh, 
19 minutes gone, Muckerfield one point up as the ball drops to cornerback McCloy. Very low scoring encounter here, one point each side as the ball drops to O'Donnell. Catches a running half back, Kelly. However, forced to slow up. Driven back. High ball underneath at Muckerfield. But the ball breaks to Kerry. Kerry wins the free, 30 yards out straight in front of goals. Difficult, very difficult kick here today in these conditions. Crossfield won and against him as well. <laughs> Miss hits the ball. Ball breaks into the small square. And Mocker felt Murdoch O'Brien fouled. Throws the ball back to full back killed. Game very stop start at the moment. A lot of fumbling errors. McCallion driving at the opposition again. The ball punched out of his hands in the slippy conditions. Rocks underneath it. Hired by two, three Muckerfield players. Plays the ball back to McCallion. Muckerfield defence holding out well. Tackling in grips. Leaving no options for the Greenlaw forward line as they just hit the ball in aimlessly. O'Neill. O'Donnell. Putting on a lot of pressure in the Muckerfield half back line. As Higgins drives the long ball out underneath it, Donnelly. Kearney coming from in, attempts to punch it but fails. Donnelly, a very strong physical player. Ball well in field, number 11, Thomas Niblock. Ball played back to Gareth Kearney. Pushing the back, the referee doesn't spot it, allows play to go on. Gives the advantage to Greenlock as the ball breaks to number 12, Sean McAllister. Brian McPeak rides the first tackle. Ball to Cormac O'Neill. Three, four Muckerfield players around him. Sends the ball in route one, but nobody in on the... <laughs> and Philip Collins, patrolling his own small square, plays the ball out to his right-hand side to O'Brien. <laughs> ball over everyone's head. And the one carries it over the sideline for a sideline ball for Greenlock. 22 minutes gone, Muckerfield one point up and playing with a strong one as the ball breaks to Ludlow. <laughs> Brian McPeak drop kicks the ball but again the one carries it over the sideline for a sideline ball. <coughs> Nice dummy, but tackled by two, three Greenlock players. Higgins, well taken by Kelly. Greenlock attacking non-stop at the moment, but nothing to show for their, all their efforts. As a packed Muckerfield defence holds them out. Ball again to Higgins. Higgins will go for the long clearance. He doesn't. Off to play it instead. Short to Owen Walls. Owen plays a one-two with O'Brien. Running at the opposition. Ball down, but underneath it, rocks. Rocks to McPeak. Greenlock making very little headway into the strong one. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Referee a judge's Paul Downey there to full fouled Con O'Brien off the ball. Free in the halfway line, taking at number seven, Sean Dillon. High ball, the defence lets it bounce over their heads. Swiving up McCallion. Nice ball, a first time ball out. Mucker felt the defence open possibly for the first time as they were on the attack. However, the full forward line, unable to pick up the ball. Mucker felt carelessly handled the ball. Clean possession, should have been gained at that, at that point. A needless free there really to Greenlough. This time Liam O'Donnell opting to take it from the ground. A better effort this time, an excellent score, first class effort, left footed and over the bar. <laughs> 24 
four minutes gone, match level once again. O'Donnell succeeding in getting the ball off the ground this time and equalising. Hevern places the ball on his own 21 yard line for the three. A good kick out down his left hand wing and underneath it O'Brien. O'Brien feels it in his chest. Ball played square. O'Neill, right footed, out to Ludlow. Ludlow punch passes to Walls. Walls in field to Ludlow again. <coughs> Ludlow running at the opposition. The referee are judges no free, and Greenlock wins. Uh, Greenlock looking to get away with a double bounce as the ball breaks to McPeak. Drop kick on or Nathan Martin Carey. Carey down to McAllister. But again, they're running into a pack Muckerfield defence and aim to just kick the ball in a 50 50. <laughs> Niblock, big strong player, left footed. Driven ball down, but McCloy reads it well and drives out. Players are on the ground, underneath it rocks. Game starting to liven up now as we enter the last five minutes. <laughs> ball out to O'Donnell. O'Donnell running at the opposition. Again, very few options for him up front as the green left forward line very static. Tries to play the ball on the ground. Picks it up at the second attempt. <laughs> A narrow ridden game on this occasion. Neither team able to really get control of the ball and play good first time football. Thomas Kelly taking the sideline this time. High dropping ball, dangerous ball in these conditions. Ball breaks free. Well saved by a packed green Macrofelt defence. Left with up right and wide. <laughs> Two, three opportunities there for the green left forward line, but they just were unable to. But the final touched it. Macrofelt line in the goal mouth on that occasion. <laughs> three minutes left, very little injury time. Well fielded by Higgins, Mark Higgins. Driving out. Ball pass to O'Brien. O'Brien well shouted by Downey. Back to O'Brien. Again, no options on O'Brien forced backwards. And the ball well fielded by Kelly. Kelly to McCallion. McCallion, simple ball, route one. But nobody in to take it. Ball breaks free to Rocks. Midfielder Rocks well hurried, pushed backwards. Ball to his other midfield partner. High tackle. Crowd shouting, an accidental challenge there by number number three and fullback, Kilt. <laughs> Sean McGuigan deciding to take him. <laughs> Again, just a slightly mistimed tackle, no malice. Left footed and left of the upright and wide. Two minutes left, both teams tied, 1-6 to 9 points. Macherfeld playing with a strong breeze but not really making use of it at the moment. Peter Hevern placing the ball. A good kick out, dropping 40 yards out, ball punched by O'Neill. Attempts to take the 1-2 but again it doesn't pay off. A sweeper Philip Collins, again a member of the Ranafas team, plays the long ball out to Young Donnelly. Put the ball allowed to drop over their heads for a sideline ball. <laughs> Thomas Kelly's kick underneath it, O'Brien. Linesman undecided. Can't make up his mind and decides to hop the ball. <laughs> Final minute of the game, both teams serving up a very poor fare here today. On, the ball points by Muckerfelt. <laughs> Niblock taking it left footed. Opportunity possibly for the winning point. 
on the 50 yard line steadies himself high ball dangerous ball very dangerous ball well taken by fullback Kearney ball just dropping short into the small square Kearney fielding it cleanly into his chest plays a very good ball out to Brian McPick <laughs> lovely pick up Ludlow running at the opposition nice ball carrying player low driven shot but left it up right and wide straight across goals two good opportunities squandered by the Mackerfield forward line Sean McGuigan blows the final whistle final score 1-6 to 9 points a draw everyone unsure really what's happening both teams shake hands no one seems to know if it's extra time or if it goes to a replay Thank you.